Happy New Comic Book Day to you, viewer and reader of comics. I'm Chris, I'm the Long Box Punk, and I am here on behalf of NerdInitiative.com here on YouTube to bring you yet another New Comic Book Day review. And this is one that I have been waiting on. I had the chance to do a special edition episode of Turn a Page right here on Nerd Initiative's YouTube channel. And I was able to talk with Matt Kent and Margie Craft Kent about their series, Guilt Frame. And this new comic book day is the day that issue three, the final issue, has been released out into the wild. You can go and pick it up from your favorite local comic book store, which you should totally do. Support local, y'all. And read this book. Oh my gosh. After talking with Matt and Margie, on turn a page, I just, I knew we were in for a wild ride. I was not able, reading the first two issues, to figure out who done it in this mystery taking place in Paris. We have an aunt and her nephew who are trying to figure out and solve this case and this murder, and there's guilt frames, and there's fancy chairs, and diamonds, and fiancés, and inheritances, and all sorts of just overwhelming amounts of breadcrumbs and red herrings that lead us in all sorts of directions. I didn't see this coming, even though I was trying to. And then it, they're just, you got to read it. You just got to read it. There's so many twists and turns. It is an oversized book, so it clocks in at 62 pages, which is great because it gives you even more of Matt Kent's fantastic artwork. And again, he plays with a ton of perspective in this book. And I asked him about that on the episode that I did with him. And I was just like, y you've got all these different sorts of perspectives and you're playing with forcing people's eyes into different places. And in a way, it's kind of metaphorical for how they wrote this book because they force you into thinking it's one person or another person or, well, all the clues lead you to this end result. And whether or not you're right, you're probably wrong. <laughs> Spoiler alert, you're probably wrong. Excellent, excellent writing. Margie and Matt put together just a masterful crime, figure it out, who done it tale in Guilt Frame. I love this series. I can't wait for the hard cover to drop so I can pick it up and have the beautiful hardback that they have planned for this alongside the rest of my Matt Kid shelf. But I am biased because he's my favorite creator. And so I think you should definitely go and pick up Guilt Frame. It gets a 77 stars out of five from me. This third issue is a whole lot of fun. It is a quick read because there's just so much action and so many details are unfolding and you learn so many things and they close so many circles that you didn't even realize were open after reading the first two issues. And so I can't wait to read all three back to back to back as one complete story, even knowing the ending. And I think I'm still going to be surprised and taken off guard. So definitely get to your local comic book shop. Pick up Guilt Frame, issue number three from Dark Horse Comics and the Flux House imprint by Matt Kent and Margie Craft Kent. And then stay tuned right here to nerdinitiative.com and the Nerd Initiative YouTube channel for more new comic book day reviews. We all could use an extra dose of positivity, and we at Nerd Initiative are here to bring that just for you, readers. So stay tuned, follow along, subscribe, like it, comment it, do all the things. Did you read it? Did you get did you get the guilt frame? Did you figure it out? I need to know because I didn't. I was way wrong. <laughs> and that's the fun of comic books and Matt Kent's writing. And it just top, top marks, top marks. Everything is excellent about Guilt Frame. I'm done. That's it for me. I'm Chris the Longbox Punk on behalf of Nerd Initiative. Thank you for tuning in to this video and listening to me gush for four and a half minutes about how great Guilt Frame is. You should go pick it up now from your local comic shop and find out for yourself. Stay tuned to Nerd Initiative for more. Now go do what's good for you, punks, and read some indie comics.